Hey guys, so this is part two. Um, I actually already did one side just because I didn't want to have you waiting all of the video. So I'm going to show you how I do one side. First thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you, well, I'll show you the side that I did. And then this is the bottom of the t-shirt and you tie a bow at the end. So that's what that looks like. And on the other end, I didn't, the other side I didn't do. So this is a has the holes in it. Let me get a close up to you. I don't know if you can see all of them. You might not be able to see all of them, but they're all there. And then, I forgot to tell you guys in part one, this is my last hole right here. You want to stop and leave about this much room, about two or, I don't know, one and a half inches. So, one and one fourth, whatever. Alright, so you're gonna want you're gonna wanna have the side that you're doing that you're lacing facing you. So it's the opposite of what I showed you earlier. So flatten it out. Alright, so I have all of the holes right here. And you're starting at the armpit, so um, I have my orange string, and I just kind of, every time I go in a hole, I kind of twist it, but you don't have to, it depends on what t-shirt or how your t-shirt is, and um, you're just going to go, for the first hole, you're going to go from the top down into the hole, and then you're going to take, this is this end that I pulled through, you're going to take the other end, and take the bottom hole that matches that hole and put it down through it. This is the starting thing. You do not do this through the whole thing. So then you should have something that looks like that. If you can tell. Um, then you're going you know, I aim up a little bit. You want to pull through and make sure that it's the same length on each So you want to make sure that they're the same on both sides. They don't have to be exact, but they're basically the same. See? And that's the only time you have to worry about them being the same. Okay, so now you're going to take the one that you put through the bottom hole. You're going to take that string and you're going to center you a little bit more. And you're going to go to the next hole and go up. So you're going to take the top layer of that shirt and that hole, the next hole, and then you're going to put it up through that. Oops. You're, every time you're going to go up first. Okay. You get rid of this hole. Now you have the first thing to your braid. Okay, now you're going to take that same string that you just pulled through and you're going to put it through the next hole in the bottom of the shirt. So you basically have the same thing. You should see a little S, maybe. Then you're going to take the other string. You're not going to be using the same one. And you're going to be putting it up through the top layer of the shirt like we did earlier. So you should basically have the first stitch of your braid. Then you're going to take that same one again. I just kind of twist it because my ends are kind of frayed. Then you're just going to put it through the bottom hole in the bottom section, in the bottom half of your shirt. And you should start to see a braid coming along. Now you're going to take the other string and put it up through this. Up through the top half of your shirt. And you should see a braid coming along. Now you're going to take that same one again. 
going to take that same one again and take the bottom half of your shirt and put it through the next hole. And you really, you should see a braid coming along. If you don't, then you're doing it wrong. Then you're going to take the other one. I'm going to twist my hands again. And I'm going to put it in the top half of my shirt, but the next hole. I'm going to keep explaining this until I get to about here. Okay, now you're going to take the other one. I'm going to twist my ends a little bit. You don't have to twist your ends if you don't want, but like so. Okay, you're going to take that other one and put it through the top section of, or the top half of your shirt. Then you're going to take, oh no, that was wrong, sorry. Don't follow that. That one, anyway. Then you're going to take the same one that you just put up through that, you'll see it. And then you're going to take it and you're going to twist it and then you're going to put it in the bottom, the bottom half of your t-shirt. And then you're going to take the other one, I'm going to twist my ends, and you're going to take the top half of your t-shirt and put it through the next hole. Then you're going to take the other one and, or no, sorry, I always get mixed up there. You're going to take your, the same section that you, the same string that you just did, you just used, and put it through the um, hole, the next hole on the bottom half of your t-shirt. Alright, I'm going to do one more. You're going to take the other one, the other string, and put it through the top half in the next hole. Alright, so, keep doing that um, until you get to the end of your holes. Alright, so just keep following those steps. If you need to look back at them, just go back in the video, um, because I don't want to make this too long of a video. So, yeah. Um, when you get done, just lace them and tie it in a knot, and then tie it in a bow, and then you're all done. And you should end up with something like this, or different colors, or whatever, yeah, whatever colors you have. Um, so, yeah. And that was part two, and the last part to this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.